well Mike defeat today in the FA Cup 2-1 against Concord Rangers what's your thoughts on that? Um, I thought that we were by far the best team anybody who watches this will, will see that uh, you know we dominated in the second half against the wind uh, really difficult all they did was basically lump the ball must have gone out of play 200 times in the second half so to lose uh, in that manner right at the death that's, that's what hurts yeah, I think because I think they had two shots, one in the first half scored, one in the second half and scored. Um, I don't know what the stats are for us, but we, we've had a lot. So, but it, it wasn't just that we we played a lot better than what they did in the in the wind and the rain and everything. We managed it better, um, and you know that's that's what gives me a bit of heart because if we play like that every week, we're, we're going to win more games than we lose anyway. So uh, that uh, that that does give you a little bit more heart. So obviously defeating the FA Cup today, but obviously, obviously what, what a great run it's been to get to the fourth quarter round, two, two wins against Paul and Epsley. Yeah, it's a great win. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice distraction to have. Uh, when you're out, obviously you can concentrate on the league, which is the big thing for everybody. We've, we've obviously got Dartford on Tuesday, and uh, like I said, you know, if we, if we keep pl plugging away like we did, we'll, we'll be fine. Obviously Luke Cross with a challenge in the second half. What's the latest on him? Uh, well, I don't want to get into the realms of the refereeing again because uh, it wasn't it wasn't great. I didn't think. I think the lad should have got sent off for that challenge, considering what we've had uh, Callum Gunner sent off for against Ebb's Fleet. This it's the inconsistency of the referees that is is very very disappointing at this level. But um, you know it, they should be down to sort of like ten men, even nine men. They could have been down to today. So uh, yeah, disappointing from the from the referee's point of view, but from our point of view, really pleased the way that we battled on, and uh, we'll be all right if we keep playing like that. What's the latest? Obviously, of the uh, other players, you know, come out, come out to full fitness. Um, Danny's Danny Greenslade's getting a little bit better. He's had no reaction to the jab. Uh, he's done a little bit of training last week as well, which is good to see him. And uh, Marlon went for another scan the other day, so the damage doesn't look as bad as what we originally thought so um, we're looking probably about a good sort of month five weeks I think for him to be back Brent has got a little bit of a thigh strain at the moment so um, yeah we missed him a little bit but in saying that Zeb played really well today so um, you know pleased for Zeb because he's, he's come on last week scored a goal and um, you know he, he looks a different player at the moment so I'm really pleased for him so back, to, so back to the league action on Tuesday, back at home against Dartford, National League South. What should prove they had that game on Tuesday? Uh, well, it's nice to play at home. We've been we've done a lot of mileage um, since the Ebbsfleet game as well, so um, it'd, be, it'd be nice to get on our home turf. Obviously, we know the, the conditions, the pitch, so hopefully, um, you know, if we can knock it around, play the football what we have been playing, then uh, it sh you know, we should be good value for that.